new day, new transfer rumor for Red Star Belgrade. This time it is left or right winger, whatever you prefer, uh, Lazar Angelovic, who started his career uh, with Arnish Kinesh. He then left to Olympiacos and now he is at uh, Leganes, which is uh, the tier two of Spanish football. Um, so he's still a, a very young footballer, 24 years of age. Uh, about a year and a half ago, there was, you know, he was pretty much on his way to uh, playing for the national team, pretty much a, a starting position. Uh, and since then, he hasn't played too much. Uh, I mentioned that he's at Leganes now. This season, he has five goals and three assists in 33 matches, which isn't anything to really rave about. Uh, those stats aren't exactly that great. Uh, he's almost almost spent the entire season um, at Leganes on loan. And um, the good thing is he can play both right wing and left wing, which is something that Red Star desperately needs. Uh, the players that we brought in haven't worked out. Uh, Felipe Falco, uh, Rosario Zhukovic, who's definitely not coming back. Uh, Felipe Falco will probably be, probably be sold uh, in the summer. Um, and we've just missed in those positions. And when you take a look at... Um, the right wing or left wing position, it varies a lot in rest our system because players constantly change positions and wings and and whatever the case may be. Um, it's only pretty much Alfardo Ben that's at that position and we desperately need a left winger or a, a left winger. Uh, the interesting thing about Lazar Angelovic is he's, he can play either wing. So if, if you take a look at his um, career matches and the, the position that he's played it's almost it's fairly close it's almost even with with left wing and and right wing and he's played some attacking midfield but it's mostly those uh wing positions interesting thing is he was he was he was fairly good olympiacos at some points in his career there and then he's kind of lost form and uh, you know, loaned out to second tier, as I said, where he hasn't done too bad, but it hasn't really been anything to rave about. Um, so I'm very weary of this signing because we kind of did the same thing with, you know, Felipe Falk was from the, from the second tier. Rashad Zhukovic came from China, I believe it was. He hasn't worked out. Rangeli just hasn't played played a lot of football, which is the, the thing that kind of worries me a little bit here. Uh, he's got speed in, that we've been missing since uh, Nemanja Radonjic left. We haven't had speed on the wings. And when you get to the Europa League, when you get into, you know, the round of 16, the quarterfinals, you definitely need a player who can change the pace of the pace of the match. And I think Angelic is someone who can do that. Uh, the question is, is he the right player going forward? One thing that needs to be addressed this season is the speed factor. Um, Kata and Imanich aren't exactly blistering with speed and Ben is getting older now. Um, there, there's just not a lot of speed in this team. And I think when we had Radonic, um, it really caused a lot of problems for the opponents. Whether it was him scoring goals or setting them up, it caused a ton of issues for the opposition's back line, for the left back, right back, depending on the position that he played. But uh, it's something that we haven't had since he left, and we've been kind of looking to fill that void, and we just simply haven't done it. Uh, so there definitely is a need for the position. Just the question is, is, is Lazard the right player going forward? As I mentioned, Three or four times now. Three or four times now, a uh, wrestler has been injured or has been uh, interested in him, but we haven't had, um, you know, the luck to bring him in. We'll see if it happens this time. Like I said, I I, I would still want to see some of the other players that we possibly have on the list as as uh, as a player in those positions. Um, right now, I'm, I'm just kind of weary about the amount of matches that he's played, his form, and just things like that. So as of right now, I think the jury's kind of out on him. And, you know, we'll see as this, as the season nears, um, you know, what Red Star does and the other rumored players that we could be after. Uh, he has a contract with Olympiacos until 2024. So he would most likely be brought in on a uh, one-year loan and then maybe the contract would be bought out. Uh, I think that's maybe a little bit of a smarter uh, decision to, to kind of take, to kind of see what you have in him. And then, you know, if he comes in and does well, you're going to have other teams who are going to be vying for his um, services. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like, you get to see what you have in the player, but if he performs really well, maybe another team comes and swoops him in. So as of right now, I'd really want to look at some of the other uh, options that Red Star possibly has. And then, you know, if it's Slim Pickens, then, you know, we could go with a guy like uh, Lazar Angelic.